we'll guide you through how to fix Wi-Fi not working on Windows 11. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really annoying because then you can't go and access the internet on your computer. So we've got some different fixes you can try. Make sure it's this full video and let's get started. So what you need to do is come to the bottom, press search and go and type in device manager. You probably get suggested it. Now what you need to do is come down the list and find the option for network adapters. Press the arrow to the left to expand it. Now what you need to do is go and find your Wi-Fi adapter. Make sure that it's enabled. When you go and right click on it, if you go and see the option for enable device, click on it. It says disabled, showing that it's already enabled. What you need to do is go and press update driver like so, and we could do an automatic search. And it's gonna go and check that the best drivers are installed. If there's any update done, then you can go and see if that goes and solves the problem. If it doesn't, the next thing we want to do is go and close out of that. You want to click on search at the bottom of your computer and type in services. Now in here, you need to go and scroll down. This is in alphabetical order. Scroll down until you can find WLAN. Go and click on it and you can right click it and press properties. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic and that it's currently running. Any change you then make, make sure you press apply and press OK. Go and see if that solves the problem. The next thing you can try doing is you can go and click on the Windows Start button at the bottom and open up your settings. In here, come over to the left and you can go and press Network and Internet. And what you then need to do is go and scroll down and find Advanced Network Settings. In here, you can go and scroll down and find Network Reset. Click here. Doing this is going to go and remove and reinstall all your network adapters and set other components back to their original settings. Doing this can go and solve the problem and it's going to restart your computer. So you can come over and press reset now, confirm your decision and the process will begin. It's really straightforward. Your computer will restart and then try connecting to the network and see if that solves the problem. 